During one of the movie's pivotal races, Yan attempts to get ahead of the competition, but in the process, he loses control of his vehicle, which careens into a crowd of spectators. Yan is told it was a freak accident and wasn't his fault, but in the hospital it's revealed the collision resulted in a person's death. In the movie, trainer Jack Salter pushes Yan to get back behind the wheel in time for the 24 hours of Le Mans to prove he has what it takes to race alongside the best. I'm not sure if I can do this. Most people can't. I got a feeling you're not most people. Through sheer determination and will, Yan manages to place third. He overcomes adversity and kicks off an incredible racing career. The only problem is that things didn't happen in that order in real life. Martin Burrow's accident took place in 2015. The 24 Hours of Le Mans race, where Yan triumphantly came in third, occurred in 2013, a full two years before the crash. The movie alters the timeline of events so that Yan could have his lowest moment come before he took the podium.